but just put me through so I'm out of here. Next game. Oh, uh, man. What I would give would be playing Team Gohan instead of these two Gohan. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret, though. I kind of low-key predicted that Hercule and Cell trailer. It didn't really go as exactly as I wanted it to. Okay, so here's what happened. A couple of days ago, I had, like, come to the conclusion that they haven't shown any Cell gameplay yet, even though he was one of the first character, like, screenshots we got, one of the first reveals. We haven't seen any gameplay from him. We haven't seen an Android 16 character reveal. We also haven't had a Team Gohan character reveal either. So with those three characters specifically being left out so far, I thought that Cell Games trailer was like a shoe-in. Then we got the Hercule and Cell thing. So we now have Cell. And we still haven't seen Android 16 and Team Gohan. So we could still get that moment in a trailer for those two. But I just felt like if it was going to be that, it should have been this trailer with Perfect Cell. But I mean, Still holding out to see how they're gonna reveal those two. They kind of already revealed Team Gohan in that like two second story mode clip with him crying, but I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not gonna lie, Yo, Gohan, you were kind of getting the hands right here. I was just taking out the angle, bro. Like, I don't want to play with you anymore. Get out of here. I want to play Team Gohan. Getting this man with all kinds of maneuvers right now. I spun him around twice. Man, is it a little bit weird seeing Broly on this stage to anybody else? I'm not gonna lie, his color palette looks amazing on this map. And I was just flying around going on like a fly right here. Just seeing what he was gonna do. I'm gonna block that last key blast too, so I'm coming right back. You thought you were just gonna shoot me while I was flying by? Nah, we don't play like that. Man. But yeah, Broly's like color scheme looks amazing on this stage. It's just weird seeing him on planet like this. And this dude just switched to 17 to avoid my whole combo right there. That was actually pretty that was pretty hard. That's the type of stuff that I was talking about a few weeks ago. Like, I feel like the switch mechanic in this game, because of how it's been implemented, is gonna like, it, it's gonna be a fall for some tech in that somewhere. It's gonna be some tech in that somewhere, and we're gonna see it at a higher level, and it's gonna be sick. And it's gonna be like a mainstay. I'm calling that right now. I think I saw on Twitter that there was green. No, it was from the uh the trailer with Future Gohan and Future Trunks. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Android 17 was in there with Android 18 from the future trunk saga so i think that there will be a uh a z version of android 17 as well if i'm not mistaken alongside dbs 17 those two should have different movesets right because we've seen them both in action like we saw the whole piccolo versus 17 fight in z and now we have you know tournament of power 17 and everything he did so we should be able to like to distinguish two different movesets for those two characters i think they can pull that off hopefully it's not just a costume change And that's gonna leave room for yo we, we could possibly have like four different android 17s in this game we could have dbs 17 z 17 hellfighter 17 and super 17 both from gt like we could actually have a good number of just android 17s and that's so funny that that hit me from that far away but when i pulled it for 17 in the last video i think it was it just went straight through it just went straight through i don't know if you guys saw that amazing yo android 17 feeding me with one hp Oh, and I remember this too. Yo, you guys see how far away that hit me from? So remember in the last video when I pulled that same ult against Android 18 and she was right in front of me and it just went straight through her? Yo, gotta love me. All right, so we just need to get, yeah, get 17 out of here, man. He's sticking around way too long with that pixel of health. And now we got Gohan back out here. I'm not gonna lie, we gotta get you up out of here early too. I really didn't like fighting underwater because it didn't look the best. So if you're not going to do it yourself, I kind of got to remove you up out of that water. But then you're just going to fall right back in. All right. I guess I can't avoid it. So let's just pull this right here. Let's just pull this right here. Gohan just wants to fight underwater for some reason. Let's get it like this. Grab it. Ow. Ow. Oh, he got me. Okay. All right. Or that step back was Steph Curry ish if I do say so myself. But I don't think it got us out of the blender at all. We can put right back into a combo. Some of these matches were a little bit more difficult than others. I can't even front. It's been a while since I played Tinkaichi or Raging Blast. Like I have to keep reiterating that. I am not a pro right now. Give me like give me two months with this game, I'll I'll be pretty decent. Damn, I guess chip damage is gonna take us out right there. Maybe I took my hand off a block, I'm not sure, but Goku is out of here and with two seconds left. 
I don't think Kid Gohan is going to be able to pull it off. So that one is going to go to a dope game on the CPU. But don't worry, guys. They can make it an entirely new demo build for us. So it looks like for the first match, we're going to have double Goku. One of them is Goku Super. I can't remember which one this one is. And Kid Gohan versus Beerus, Scouter Vegeta, if I'm not mistaken, and also Yum. So this is going to be a pretty interesting match. I can tell you guys right now. While this match was going on, I felt like somebody snuck in the settings and put Beerus on like he, he was taking me to that ghetto university. I can't even lie to you. Like he's probably you're probably gonna have to wait for a sec. See, I tried to hit him with an instant transmission. Sneaky maneuver right there, but he just turns around and calm thrusts me all the way up out of it. You know what? I'm not really one to do that like that, but the immaculate space on the comment, I mean, I just to get him off me a little bit. But we're gonna get right back into it. And I'm not gonna lie, in this match, Beerus was on some ultra instinct type stuff, like he was showing me like some perfect balance between offense and defense type stuff. It was kind of scary a little bit. Look at this. Look at this. And then he's like countering in mid combo, like he's expecting me to match. Like who is who got who is Beerus on the sticks right now? I'm confused. Look at this perfect balance. Who, who is this guy confused? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like this punk. I thank God we got a counter on there. He's somewhere there, bro. This Beerus was making me sweat. He did it again. Yo, we had to, and then he goes to sleep mid-match. Oh, no, nah. you gotta die now, son. Why would you do that? I take that highly disrespectful, sir. Yeah, yeah, let, let me leave. I gotta get Bluku out here for this now. I'm about to show you the, what the heck just happened. Yo, can somebody tell me what just happened there? Yo, oh, get your mortal hands off of me. Excuse me, my, I did it again. Yo, who is this guy? Oh, yeah, bro, yo, I'm so glad I could show you guys the way this Beerus was maneuvering in this game, bro, because I couldn't believe it. This was like BM to the max. Like, this was some online BM the way this Beerus was playing. The only thing missing was, like, troll spin. Like, he was just countering things in weird ways that you didn't have to counter him in. He was BMing me with the sleep in it. Like, bro, is this how online Beeruses are going to play? But now it's my turn, and I think, yeah, we're going to end this combo off right here with a Super Kamehameha, or God Kamehameha, excuse me. And Beerus is almost done. I think at this point, he just disrespects, yeah, he just disrespects me again, goes to sleep in my face. So, all right, I'll just blast you point blank. And now we're on to Scouter Vegeta. So while he makes his way all the way over here across the stage, I'm going to just go Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken up here right behind him. And now we're going to get into a little bit of this offense right here for Blue Kaioken Goku. Gotta get the thumbnail, charging the aura a little bit. Now we're right back into the mix again. Hit him with some flying kicks. Vegeta is gonna get gut punched right there. I know I was doing like a lot of weird step-ins right there, but I had like the biggest brain fart on how to grab for whatever reason. I was like pressing dash, charge, and guard all at the same time. I I, I thought I was losing it for a second. But as you guys can see, we are out of Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken already. So my thought process here was that I did want to do it once more before the game was over. So I thought that maybe if I de-transform back down to base, that maybe my blast stocks would come back a little bit faster. I'm not sure if that's how that works at all. But I also didn't know Yamcha was going to come out guns blazing, really teaching me about that action. Like, bro, the vanishes was on point, the counters, the sidesteps. I actually had to think about how I was approaching the CPU. Like, Yamcha and Beerus were really pressing me in this. I, I couldn't believe it. So we are going to swap out Goku's right here. And once again, I'm not really... Oh, did you guys see that? The instant transmission into the rush attack. Yeah, I was I was just kind of trying out stuff here and there. But I, I don't really know which Goku this is. I want to say either Goku mid or Goku in because he does have instant transmission like we just saw. But I'm not too sure. It's, it's one of those though. I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain. Oh, okay. So this... I think this actually is Goku mid. If you guys saw the little trans, uh, transformation legend that just popped up. It only has Super Saiyan Goku on it, and Goku N has, obviously, 1 through 3. Okay, so Yamcha's gonna get out of the way of our Kamehameha way, but we're gonna get right back into the mix. Been a little wonky right here, trying to, you know, just figure each other out a little bit, but we're gonna hit him with some diagonal short dashes in to throw him off. He blocks the flying kick, but those legs were wide open. So at this point, since there wasn't really much to do, we were just going back and forth with basic attacks, seeing who could crack whose defense first, and it looks like Yamcha is gonna crack first from those flying kicks, but we're gonna chase him down with the key blast, and this was one of the coolest things in the game so far. Being able to fight inside the buildings, they have actual interiors. Yamcha had to get put up against that wall like an absolute bully, but I'm not gonna lie, Vegeta, you gotta come to my office if you wanna see me, buddy. You gotta come up here. Wait, I, wait, I don't get out of here. I guess we could do that. All right, so, you know, obviously I would have liked the clash beam right there. You guys saw that it took all of my key. I, I pressed Kamehameha, but I guess Gally Gun was just a little bit faster. And you know what? 
that windscreen is so disrespectful just wiping my hands cleaning you assholes but you kind of deserve it after that match there is still a ton more gameplay for us to go So for our last match in today's video, we have Tien, Vegeta, and Frieza versus Kid Gohan. Alright, so right off bat, the first thing I noticed, doesn't look like there's any type of special dialogue between Frieza and Kid Gohan, which is kind of weird. I figured there probably would be. But Frieza gonna start off with the tail grab right away into the death beam. Okay, it's gonna be one of those types of matches. Alright, I see. So going into this, I didn't really have any type of game plan with Kid Gohan. I just kind of wanted to more so get a feel for him because this isn't a character that I usually play in any Dragon Ball game. So just kind of seeing what he can do and seeing if I like the character itself. This is the third Death Beam. This match has been going on for like 15 seconds. Yo, he is spazzing with those Death Beams, but it's okay. We're going to counter that, get him up off me a little bit. Let's see what Kid Gohan has in this kick right here. Let's fly around a little bit because this is gorgeous. Alright, make him come to me and now we get yeah, Perfect. Perfect distance. Love to see. Alright, so let's see. We gotta fake him out a little bit with the after images right there. Now we're just kinda having fun. I just wanna see what Gohan can do. Are you oh excuse me? Who did you think I was? Yo, stop it. Now he's just getting fed. I see now he's just getting fed. Somebody go get that man a bit, bruh. He's just getting fed at this point. And then we're gonna cap it all off with the energy blast barrage too. I think I gotta like, uh, get going a little bit. No way in hell I'm playing him over Team Gohan. This is just kind of like filler right now. <laughs> my, my, my fun art. Because when Team Gohan hits the... Oh my lord. Get those lizard hands off. Yeah, he had to get up out of there. I was not going for that freeze of nonsense. Okay, you're not going for my nonsense. Use the hell out of me. Ouch. Good lord. Yo, that door on Ray lit me up. Big Gohan's almost dead too. Uh, we should... Probably, you know what? I'm not retreating. I'm going until I can't go no more with Kid Gohan, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're not running. Oh, that was a nice bad shot. We're not running, man. I'm not getting Kid Gohan out of here. Either he's killing Tien or Tien's killing him. I should probably. Yeah. Ah, nice, nice, nice. I thought he sidestepped out of that, but I guess because we were so close to really, really, really. I gotta be really careful right here. We are almost on TN's last health bar, but he'll probably... Oh my god, man. Yo, I don't know what I was pressing right there, but he caught me. He caught me, it's fine. I wanted to get the father out here anyway. Yo, bro, oh! Yo, who did you think I was? I was so ready for that vanish right there. But at least if we can hit him with this, he should pretty much be out of here, right? Oh, he deflected it! Oh, I didn't even realize he did that the first time. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, and yo, Computer TN's defense is too much. Yo, Computer TN's defense. Yo, I, I just didn't know Computer TN's defense was on another level. But I'm, yo, please don't play. Oh, thank you. We finally got a beam off of him. But I'm still kind of mad. I, I think I'm just mad enough to do this, actually. Because I can't believe that the first time I've seen a deflect in the demo gameplay of this game was against me by the computer. Like, I'm actually a little upset at you, TN. You tried to make a Twitch clip out of me. Like, this dude, TN, really made me an Instagram rule. He put me in a TikTok. I'm not even joking. I know that's gonna get clipped up. I'm gonna clip it up. I oh, that was hard. But why did he have to do it against me? Yo, I love the way this version of Goku Super Saiyan hair looks, man. Like, all fluffy and stuff. It, it looks amazing. I'm glad that they kept that detail just for, like, this version of Goku specifically. With, like, the, uh, the more whitish, blonde, golden color. With, like, the other Super Saiyan uh, versions. Well, like, the other versions of Goku in their Super Saiyan form. It's a lot more yellow than gold. I can't believe I'm crazy. I, I really can't. My first time playing this game and all of this happened. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I really can't believe this video is going to be I'm so glad I got to show you guys all this gameplay that we were able to get out of the NBX. 
combo but i do think that is gonna just about do it for today's video guys i hope you all enjoyed the exclusive dragon ball spark and zero gameplay from anime expo hope you all enjoyed the super saiyan blue kyle ken the super saiyan goku and the kid gohan it was a lot of fun but now that i'm back home we gotta get back on the grind again and get the ground running we gotta take this straight into october and beyond so guys if you haven't already consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing to the channel because there will be plenty of dragon ball spark and zero content coming your way once again i hope everybody really enjoyed the gameplay and the video i had a blast out at anime expo shout out to everybody that i was able to meet out there i really wish i had got some more pictures but it is what it is anyways have a great great day and i will see you all tomorrow bye guys